In this video, we shall present more examples on linear programming problems involving mixed constraints using the simplest method in tabular form. We wish to maximize z equals to 8x1 plus 6x2 subject to these constraints. For the first constraint, we should subtract a surplus variable and add an artificial variable to the left hand side. Let's denote this as E1 and A1 respectively. For the second constraint, we should add a slack variable. Let's denote it as S2 so that we know easily that it comes from the second constraint. All variables are non negative. Since artificial variable is added, we need to modify the objective function to be z equals to xx1 plus 6x2 minus m times a1, where m is a huge positive constant. Therefore, we get the following linear programming problem in the standard form. Please remember that before we identify the key column, we need to use row operation to change the row 0 such that the coefficients of a1 here will become 0 instead of having m. All other rows remain unchanged. This can be done by multiplying negative m times the first row and add the result to row 0 to get the new row 0. Therefore, we obtain the following system. The basic variables are a1 and s2. Now, as we treat m to be a huge positive constant, the column representing x2 has the most negative coefficient among all the coefficients of variables in row 0. So, the column containing x1 will be the key column. And then row 1 is the key row after comparing the positive ratios here. It is rather easy to make careless mistakes in the row operations. I would suggest that first we divide row 1 by 2 so that this number 2 here becomes 1 and all other entries in this row is changed correspondingly. We can first write down this system before we perform other row operations to row 0 and row 2. Now, if we continue with this system, the next stage is that we would like to change all the other entries in this column to be 0. This can be done by multiplying row 1 with brackets x plus 2m plus row 0 to get the new row 0. And multiplying negative 3 times row 1 and add it to the old row 2 to get the new row 2. And we shall obtain this system. Notice that if we take x1 to be 5, x2, e1, a1 to be 0, s2 to be 81, and z equals to 40, the solution is not yet optimal. The column containing E1 is now the key column, and the key row is row 2. We first make this 3 over 2 to be 1 by multiplying this row 2 by 2 over 3 to get the new row 2 as follows. Next, we would like to make these two numbers to be 0 and change the corresponding two rows accordingly by first we multiply 4 times row 2 plus row 0 to get the new row 0 as follows. And we multiply row 2 by 1 over 2 and add it to this row 1 to get the new row 1. We shall obtain the following system. Now from this system, we shall take the solutions to be x1 equals to 32, x2 equals to 0, e1 equals to 54, a1 equals to 0, s2 equals to 0, 
and Ez equals to 256. This solution is optimal since there is no more negative coefficients for variables in the objective function. In conclusion, the solution is optimal when we are taking these values, and the maximum is 256, which is achieved when x1 equals to 32 and x2 equals to 0.